The Wednesday Nail Juvenile Hurdle is next. It's the first of two Juvenile Hurdles tonight. And obviously there will be two miles and obviously there for four-year-olds. At the top we've got Ard Patrick for Kevin Meehan, Champion Moose for David Robertson, Cool Highlander Martin Liam, El Dorado Padre Hogan, Mount Pleasant Paul Rhodes, St Nicholas at Wade, Darren Thompson, Angelica Zen for Padre Hogan, Beyond the Rocks, Leon Van Rensburg, Irina Bay, Alex Cherry, Lemonade, Joshua Sutherland and Sparkling Riches for Craig Beckwith. 11 then this time. And away they go. The four-year-old division always hotly contested in this SO6 league. Very rarely these horses race against any other other than themselves, really, although they do get into some of the handicaps later in the season to open to four-year-olds, but the majority of the time they're racing against each other and it turns into quite an interesting battle over the seasons. Or over the season. And Irina Bay is the one that's leading at the moment. From Champion Moose in second. Beyond the Rocks is third. Leonard Patrick and Cool Highlander after that one. As they get to the next. And they're all safely all the next. It was the first. And the one that's struggling at the back is El Dorado. I'm not quite sure what's wrong with that one, but it's already six to eight lengths adrift of the rest of them as they get over flight number two. And Irina Bay. Maybe setting a pretty stiff pace here as they get over number three. One's in the lead from Mount Pleasant in second as they come up past the stand. And then they'll go past the winning post shortly and then out for a complete circuit of the track. And it's Irina Bay who leads past the winning post first time round. Mount Pleasant is in second. I think that's for Paul Rhodes. Then comes Art Patrick in third. And then beyond the rocks, Cool Highlander in the purple and white stripes on the outside. Champion Moose is going up the inside. And then Sparkling Riches and St. Nicholas at Wade. Lemonade is after that one. With Angelica Zen. And El Dorado appears to be tailed off. I'm quite sure if there's anything amiss with that one, but it's certainly out of contention at this early stage. So they're well, actually at their midway point now. And Irina Bay is in the lead, getting over flight number four. And we might get to see just how far back El Dorado is. There is El Dorado. So somewhere adrift at this point so Irina Bay then leads into the fifth and gets over it nicely a better jump though by Mount Pleasant on the outside and seeing that one move alongside now and take a share of the lead a short run to the sixth and over it they go and Mount Pleasant is just the leader Cool Highlander now being moved up on the outside to move into third then comes Ard Patrick and Sparkling Riches Lemonade is after that one as they take the seventh and Mount Pleasant is now being joined by Cool Highlander who's been scrubbed along Arena Bay still there on the inside then Lemonade and Sparkling Riches these five are ahead of Beyond the Rocks who's been pushed along to try and join that leading group I think we're just waiting to see if we can see El Dorado there he is it's Mount Pleasant though in the lead by about a length to long time leader Irina Bay Cool Highlander going around the outside between those Beyond the Rocks and Lemonade and uh, also there Sparkling Riches is trying to come through with a run now in the green jacket Hard Patrick and swinging around the outside is Angelica Zen suddenly the race changes not the centre of the track it's Hard Patrick and Angelica Zen who might have just got on Mount Pleasant's got the rail Cool Highlander's dropped away then beyond the rocks in St Nicholas at Wade they come in out of third last and over it they go and it's Mount Pleasant on the far side Hard Patrick on the near side these two have pulled clear off St Nicholas at Wade who is in third they come down towards the second last and over that one they land together but they're separated by the width of the track it's Mount Pleasant though who's beginning to power now Mount Pleasant beginning to power away as they come to the final flight gets over gets away from it well St Nicholas at Wade moves into second but this is going to be another one for Ball Road not towards the line it's going to be Mount Pleasant that's going to take the juvenile hurdle and Mount Pleasant wins it St Nicholas at Wade was second then beyond the Rockton champion Moose and Lemonade and Cool Highlander and the field will trail all the way back to El Dorado who has finished a distance behind the rest of them but Mount Pleasant's taken it for Paul Rhodes. Comfortable winner by a good three or four lengths. And St. Nicholas at Wade second for Darren Thompson. Beyond the Rocks for Leon Van Rensburg was third. Champion Moose was fourth for David Robertson. And Lemonade for Joshua Sutherland was fifth.